Welcome to the Narrative. My name is Anargi Vardana. My name is Angelo Bur. Ushahidi is a Kenyan born company that specializes in developing open source software for information collection and visualization. That's used a lot in the civic engagement space. So, just trying to encourage citizens to become active participants in stories being told about their location. It has changed over the last couple of years in terms of its growth and its scope. Um, not only do we have a bigger team, but we are also involved in innovation competitions now with uh, Making All Voices Count. We're now involved in cities' work with the Resilience Responsiveness Initiative. We're still involved in crowdsourcing software and taking that to the next level with a clearinghouse for data. So it's, it's really grown in terms of its, the breadth of work. I think there's a really strong sense of technological determinism in our world today, which you know is basically saying you can copy and paste a technology in a developing area and boom, all their problems are solved and suddenly they can achieve global peace and you know food and water suddenly miraculously appear. Um, and what I like about Ushahidi is that I don't think we have that misconception. I think we are you know, very humble in understanding that yes, we can build really cool products, but at the end of the day, we have to build them such that the people who are on the ground, who are doing the work, who are living it day to day, you know, understand it and can use it to actually create change. And what's inspiring to me about Ushahidi is that we are enabling the people who are making amazing impact, who are doing amazing things in their communities and beyond. So it's like moving away from the hardcore crisis, something bad happened right now, we need to know, to, um, you know, what are t ways we can leverage technology to provide access to different things, whether that's water, power. So one of the things that I think technology provides, especially for women, is a platform for you to speak openly. You know, especially in the African context where it's, you know, the woman is traditionally someone who's supposed to keep quiet and just, you know, receive information or decisions are made for you. With technology now, we have a very big platform to just speak up. And speaking up already, creates this really huge voice that sheds this light on us that you know we actually do count whatever we think actually does provide some insight and decisions that are being made in our entire country so that, I, have, I have got started because, because my co-founder Eric and part of the tech community that came together to help with Shahid we realized that we needed a space uh, to work out of and he created a base for us here, um, which became the iHub, and we opened it up to others, and it has since grown to be uh, the home of more than 148 startups, uh, with more than 15,000 members. The people in this space make that I have what it is to work. If I hadn't met the likes of Eric or Juliana, the rest of my co-founders, who made tech feel so, so cool and showed me how impactful it was. Like it wasn't just tech for the sake of tech. Like you were actually seeing the kind of impact it had. If it wasn't for them, I'd probably be sitting behind a desk in a bank in a suit or something. <laughs> I wouldn't be behind my desk today creating software or helping people understand how to use software that is helping them voice out their opinions. There's empowerment, which is great, but then there's empowerment uh, that drives people to want to open doors for others, which I find quite inspiring. That it's not enough to have doors opened for you, that it is now your duty to open the door for others. And um, I see that in the team, uh, the women who work for Ushahidi. Two of them co-founded Akira Chicks. Akira Chicks is a non-for-profit organization that is trying to create a successful force of women in tech. And we're trying to do this through training, mentorship, and networking. So what we do is we take a couple of girls from low-income areas and take them through a one-year course on basic programming, um, basic design, entrepreneurship courses, hoping that at the end of that one year they can use whatever skills we've given them to improve the situation and improve the lives of the people within the communities. They're just different, different sides of the same coin. It's still about expression. It's still about doing innovative things. It's still about making information flow better. Mm -hmm.